Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Bellatro, shall we? I have heard great things about this, and I'm really excited to play it. I have never played it, been hearing so mage, Alex, Mr. KVM, good morning. Or good evening, depending on where you're at. Yes, I've heard great things about this poker roguelike. I'm excited to play. Never tried it, so let's fire it up. So, hello there. My name is Jimbo. I'm here to help you learn how to play. Thank you, Jimbo. So what I've seen from some of the screenshots is like, it's like poker, but it's also roguelike, and yet also... What you're doing is, like, breaking the rules of poker, as it were. So, I can't wait to see how this plays out. Um, hey, hey. <laughs> Red Hat, good evening. So good to see you, my friend. Is this game of the year? Is this where we're at? I mean, it's been getting a lot of acclaim. Space Fox, good evening. Yes, my friend, I am looking forward to trying that as well. I think I have Astroneer, but not Stationeer. Oh, it's Mark VM. Okay, not Mr. Gotcha, gotcha, Mark. Okay, so um, I'm really pumped about this. Mage, I think it's like Slay the Spire plus poker, maybe? Let's see. Your goal is to earn chips to defeat the enemy blind. This here is a small blind. You only need to score 300 chips to beat it. Select a small blind to start the round. Alright, so we just say select. And here we go. Okay, you can earn chips by playing poker hands. Very good. Each poker hand earns a base amount of chips multiplied by some malt, okay? See your poker hands in the run info area along with other info about your current run, okay? Oh, run info. Um, okay, so here's the poker hand. So it tells you right now, oh my god, you level up maybe like the different kinds of hands you can make. That's kind of cool. So a straight flush, the big one. 100 times 8. Okay. Very good. Back. Cards also earn you some chips. Hover over to C. Alright, so the Ace of Diamonds gives you 11 chips. And going on down the line, you get chips based on the value of the card. Face cards 10, Ace 11. And the number cards give you their corresponding number. Okay, Red Hat. Awesome. Now select up to five cards to play and press play hand. Okay. Um, so we want to play our best hand possible here. Um, from this, sadly, uh, you know, I have a pair of twos and then um, I've got, so I don't have a flush, I don't have anything else, so I'll just play this hand. So I got a pair, so I played all of that, and I ended up with 28 chips. <laughs> Craft, good evening. I like your poker face. You can also discard up to five selective cards to try and make even stronger hands. Try it. Oh, okay. So I do have to say, Aces and Adventures is also a poker roguelike card game, but it's much more narrative-driven, and you're not really breaking the rules in this way. Different kind of game. Um, but this is hilarious because it's like I'm discard five. Lexi, good evening. I'm, we're playing some wild poker is what we're doing. You do not have to play five cards every time. Oh, okay, I could have just played two twos. All right, so from this hand, um, you know, we want to discard uh, four. Careful, 
You only have a limited number of hands and discards per round. Oh, okay. Earn 300 chips before you run out of hands to win this round. Good luck. Okay, great. So let's think about this. So let me see if I understand. The advantage of not playing all the cards would be that I get to hold back some cards. So like if I only play two queens... Then do I get to hold these cards or do these cards get discarded? I mean, because two pair is pretty nice. So two pair, 20 times two. That's probably the best I can do here. So um, go ahead and you hold them. Okay, thanks, Mark. Okay, that's cool. So we'll play two pair, but I'll only play four. So we got 125. We only have two hands left, and we have three discards. Now, this is pretty sweet. We got three tens, but let's get real greedy right here. Now, I could just discard these three, which I will. All right, that didn't go well at all. That was a colossal bust. So instead, <laughs> let's just play three tens. So you could see I'm going to get 90 right here and i'll have one more hand to get about 90. so let's go for it oh wait no i i misread that it's 60 times three. Oh, then i got it already sweet okay so we already did it okay i gotta get the math down cash out four bucks bam Nicely done. Now that you're flush with cash, you can buy some new cards from the shop. Okay. Oh my god, look at this game. Try buying this handsome devil. Alright, so I can buy a $2 joker. Yeah, look at this. There's like booster packs. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what is this? He's a common. Buy. This is one of the 150 jokers you can add to your run. Every joker does something different. Oh, this is so much fun. So you just get a plus four multiplier. That's awesome. Speedy, good evening, my friend. Thank you for following. Okay, this is exciting. All right, let's go next. This one adds plus four multiplier to every hand that you play. Be picky. You can only carry five joker cards at a time. So are jokers like... You have to draw them, or are they like, uh, you know, artifacts or relics in Sway the Spire that they're passives that stay in play permanently without you having to draw them? We'll find out, I guess. Now buy the other card from the shop, the Empress. Not discovered. Enhances always on. Love it, Mark. Okay, perfect. So it's a passive, so you can, like, build your deck. Oh, okay, I'm seeing where the dopamine's coming in. I'm seeing myself <laughs> losing many hours to this game. Okay, let's go. Um, enhances two selected cards to multi-cards. Okay. Always on and scores left to right, says Red Hat. Okay, thank you. Perfect. All right, so we'll buy this one. This tarot card is a consumable. This one will enhance your playing cards. Hold on to it. Okay, it's like a potion. Okay. You could carry up to two consumable cards with you at any time. If you save up enough, you can buy a voucher. Vouchers passively upgrade your run. Nice. Oh, awesome, Speedy. I'm so glad you're enjoying that, my friend. You know what? I'm still making videos in that series because that game is insanely fun. I need that voucher. Vouchers are restocked after you defeat the boss blind. Uh-oh, the boss blind. And check out both of the booster packs in every shop. They're full of goodies. Oh man, look at these shiny packs. Standard pack and Arcana pack. So this is playing cards and these are um, consumables. Okay. Let's move on to the next round. Let's indeed. All right. Selecting the big blind will earn you some cash. We need to score at least 450 bucks. Or choose to skip it. To get a tag, each tag has a unique effect. Um, but keep an eye on the boss blind, which is over here. It has an ability you'll need to plan around. Discard two random cards per hand played. Ouch. Okay. Then you need to score at least 600. 
If you beat it, then the ante goes up and all blinds become harder. Okay. Beat ante 8 to win. Now choose your path. All right. So I can skip it to get the garbage tag. Fading, good evening. Fading, have you heard of this game? This would be your jam. It's poker meets Slay the Spire. All right. So um, the garbage tag says gives you $1 um, per unused discard. And it gives me 2 bucks. No, I'm going to go for the big blind. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. When you get more cards, remember, you can rearrange them. Joker's trigger in order from left to right. Okay. And make sure that you use your consumables. Select up to two cards in your hand and press the use on the tarot card to enhance them. All right. So, um... I guess... Like, if I want to use this, I can use this and then multiply these queens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so these queens now give you extra when you play them, and they look all special. <laughs> That's awesome, Red Hat. I mean, that tells you something. I love the music. I was like... Just when I booted up the game, I was immediately, like, vibing to the game. And then the CRT feel is hilarious. Okay, so we need to score 450. We got four hands. So these, it's going to tell me right here, um, I'm going to get 10 times 2 for playing this. So let's see if I can figure out the math of this. So first of all, this guy gives me plus 4 already. I don't know when this is applied before we multiply or after um but the way i'm thinking let's see if i can just calculate this i don't know if there's a quick way to do it um oh mark i hope everything went well my friend and gosh yeah sitting and recovering with a steam deck and a cool game sounds like just what the doctor ordered so let's let me see if i can get the math right so, 14 for each card times 2, 28, or am I, let me see if I'm, um, so a pair says 10 times 2, but is, what is 10, and what is 2, <laughs> right? Like, I'm trying to figure out, um... Okay, so it scores cards played, then bonus cards, and then jokers. Okay. All right, so yeah, let's try to figure out, I mean, the math a little bit cleaner. I, I have three pairs, so we want to use as much as we can right now because we have all of these multipliers going on. So two pair gives me 20 flat times two, but maybe this will go up. Let's see what happens if I play this particular hand right now. Oh, okay, no, now I get it. I'm dumb. Okay, I'm dumb. Holy smokes, I just beat it right there on one hand. Right, so malt means the red number, and then the base number is blue. I didn't realize I was the malt. I thought I was adding the malt to, like, the 10, but not to the, obviously, multiplier derp. So, wow. And what's interesting is, like, you don't get to keep going like as soon as you beat the blind it's over and then you get a payout if you do it faster so we scored at least 450 and then we had three extra hands which we got an extra dollar for and we cash out with seven bucks so we end up with 10 bucks and we can buy a voucher permanently gain plus one hand per round so this seems insane like i don't know why i wouldn't buy this right now because um, well, let me, let me rephrase that. It gives you an extra chance, but if you beat it in one hand, it isn't helping you. Um, but just giving you one more chance seems really good. I feel like I have 10 bucks. Let's buy it. Grabber. We got the grabber. All right. 
so we need to defeat the boss blind to restock. Okay. So, um... Oh, okay. Oh, you guys are both saying the same thing. Okay, so if I would have held money, I could have made more money. Good to know. Okay. Wow. So you risk it. Choose your blind. Actually, maybe you're not risking it. If you lose and you had 10 bucks, I guess you start to run over. Um, all right, so we have to go for the big boss, I suppose. So let's do it. And maybe I should have bought some consumables because I have nothing left. Um... So this says discards two random cards per hand played. I'll have to see. Um... Oh, it's not solitaire, Squid. It's poker. Um, but what's crazy is I have to see how the implementation... Good evening, by the way, Squid. Is this two cards that I play? Like, So if I play a pair, is it going to kill both of them? Or is it killing two cards that I have behind? We'll find out. Fair enough, Squid. Okay, um... I'm gonna do two nines and two eights and see what happens here. I have this multiplier, so it's really gonna be 20 times 8, but then you're gonna add... So it's gonna be 16 plus 18, so 34... 54 times 8 is what I think this will be, but let's just see. Okay, yeah, it's it's cards behind. Oh, it's only 54 times 6. Whoops. I messed that up, but still. It's not 4 times 2, it's 4 plus 2. I get it, on the multi-part. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so, um, this might be a time to go for a discard. We almost have a straight. Nick Man, good morning. Alright, so I'm going to kick out the nine. Dude, not quite poker is sweet. Well, we hit a full house instead. I'll take it. We actually have um, two three-of-a-kinds, but we'll do it this way. So this will be... Um, this will win right here, I think. Yeah, checkmate. Sweet. We crushed it. Three remaining hands. We get a little extra bucks. So we cashed out eight bucks. All right. So now, um, this one says permanently game one discard. That's very good. But here's the question. Would you guys buy more jokers to permanently upgrade? Or do you let it ride to try to get that interest? I don't know. I don't know if I, I feel like I want to impact my deck right now as opposed to getting one extra dollar, but that could just be me. Each diamond card. Chef Smitty, good evening. <laughs> exactly, Squid. I need that Charizard. Nick, man, I'm telling you, I agree with you 100%. Last Epoch is so fun. I have a Beastmaster build going in Last Epoch right now. And I'm just... I got a, a dog and some totems. And we are just rocking. Yeah, the both of... Like, this Joker says each played card with a diamond gives extra multiplayer. And then this says... Um, I don't like, like this one, but this... This is a rare. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, you know what, Squid? I was playing offline. I didn't realize that there was they were having um, so many server problems. That's a shame, but... Yeah, that game is a real treat. All right, I'm going to buy the Joker. I love Jokers. Let's go. And let's go to the next round. All right, so we could skip 
orbital tag upgrade flush by three levels. Yeah, exactly. Squid, that always happens, right? <laughs> awesome, Chef Smitty. I love it. See, that's what's so good about it, is how many different builds there are and just how fun the game is to play. It's so good. Isn't it cool, Nick Man? I love that, too. You actually feel powerful in Last Epoch. It, it's great. So here's my question for you. This orbital tag right here, is this permanent? Is this like a joker that like I get this tag forever? Or is this like only last until the next round or something like that? And and is there a, a cap to how many tags you can have? Because right now I feel like I just want money. Like I don't know. Um, it's permanent. Okay. Like upgrading the flush by three levels is pretty sweet, but I don't hit a flush that often. They vary. Okay, I'm going to select a small blind. I'm just going to keep going for the small blind. All right. Yeah, you know, um, Squid, going back to your previous point, I agree with you. It is more like Solitaire in the sense that you're not... You're, you're not playing against another hand. You're just, like, playing poker, but by yourself which is just fine with me. Um, so I have two, three, four. I could go for a six, <coughs> a straight up or down. Actually, with the ace, I kind of have an open-ended. Um, this is so promising that I'm going to discard all of these. Oh, we hit it. Sweet. That's true. You could build for the flush deck. That's a great point, right? That's one of the things I'm going to have to do with this game is, like, open my mind and throw away, like, all of the poker probability that I have memorized in my life. Like, just understanding how rare a flush is. But you're like, no, 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 no. This is not poker. It is, but you get, like, an eight or, or larger hand. You can discard five, you know, on and on and on. So. Okay, so a straight is 30 times four. Now, we have two diamonds in this straight. Um... So let's see how this plays out. I mean, theoretically, if we're going to add up, let me just see if I can get this right. Isn't it crazy, Squid? Like, I didn't even realize that my tarot card, it is consumable, but this was a permanent upgrade to this queen forever. So it just gives plus to the multiplayer whenever I use it, which is ridiculous. This is so hilarious. Okay, so think about this. I'm going to get... 21, 31, 41, 51, flat, right there. So it's going to be 81 times 4, which is, you know, already quite large. But then you're going to add in 4 to the multi um, multiplier, then another 4 to the multiplier. So it's at, least, it's at least 81 times 12. And then this looks like maybe we add... If this really multiplies the malt by 1.5 for each one... I can't wait to see how many points we get right now. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this number. Oh, I hope they get it for Mobile Squid. Look at that. 1,700. We demolished it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I bet you could make it bigger. So, I hate to, I'm not trying to spoil it, but how much, if you win or lose, does anything carry over to the next run? Is there a a rogue light element to the game where there's a permanent progression path behind the scenes? Or is it f fresh run each time? cash out you unlock new jokers and decks okay cool all right i got seven bucks we could buy um this straight oriented um joker or this this is hilarious
That sounds fun too, Nick Man. Okay, so I'm not like thrilled about either of these unless we want to just go for a straight, but this is funny for just making money. You know, you're like, what do I want to do here? Do I want to try to make money to buy more stuff or do I want to make my deck more powerful? Um, I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy uh, one booster. This red shiny pack. What is this going to do? Let's see. Standard pack. Okay, we choose one. Um, oh, wow. Look at this ace. Ace of spades. It just gives you 30 extra chips. That is ridiculous. This thing says um, $3 if this is held in your hand. So it just it's a gold card, literally. So it gives you money. Oh, man. This game is hilarious. You sh Distro, good evening. You sure can, my friend. Okay, so, um, I, I want the Ace of Spades, because I love the Ace of Spades, but that's funny. Alright, I don't have any more money, so, um, let's go to the next round. And we could skip, and this says, gives a free Mega Arcana pack. Um, these are good. Do I want to just get the Mega Arcana pack? It seems actually pretty good. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, Mark. I agree, Squid. So... <laughs> isn't that sweet? Oh, yes, I see what you mean. It didn't replace my Ace of Squids. Uh, my Ace of Spades, it added another one. I'm with Squid Distro. Um, I think that it's last night, but I think you could say... <sighs> Actually, I think you could say either. It's just more... I would be more used to hearing last night. Exactly. So I think that I think it's a good question, Distro. I think yesterday night, I don't know if there's anything that's wrong with it. It's just I I don't know if I've ever heard that. Yeah, as far as my American English ear is used to, it's that one. Okay, I'm gonna um. I'm gonna actually skip. I want this Mega Arcana pack. I'm going to see what happens if I do this and just take this. All right. So what can we get? Um, oh, I see. So they're showing me what my next hand will be. And then I use these immediately. It doubles your money. Um, increase the rank of up to two selected cards. Enhance two to bonus cards or create up to two random planet cards. Don't even know what you're talking about. Um, when you, when it says increase the rank, does this mean like queen to king? Or does it mean like, I don't know what rank really necessarily means. Um, Alright, I'm going to make this a stone card. Okay. What does this do? Oh, okay. It just is 50 chips if you play it. Okay, well now I know. Interesting. Well, maybe I should have not used it on my Ace of Hearts. Now I know. Alright, I'm going to go Queen and Jack to Hierophant. What do bonus cards mean? Okay, cool. Just gives you extra chips. I love it. Okay. And let's see. All diamond cards are debuffed. Well, that's a shame.
Hmm. Yeah, don't quote me on it because I'm not... This is not really my forte, but the way I would see it is that you could say Monday night or Monday evening as today is Tuesday and you mean last night, last evening. And you could just replace Monday with yesterday, yesterday evening, yesterday night. But I think it's stylistically people would say last night in American English, but I don't know if it's technically grammatically wrong to say it the other way. It's just, I think it might be more of a style issue. Um, okay, so my diamond cards are debuffed, which means scores no chips. All right, well then, that's a shame. But guess what? We've got some sweet stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and discard these diamonds that they don't like. And while we're at discarding, um, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of other cards just to try and get with the, qu the queens there. And, well, we didn't, but we ended up getting... Okay, so... Mm, do I want to play... Just the queens by themselves. I think this is okay. It is... It is, Nick Man, but so is Monday night. Um, okay. Let me see here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this, this, this. I'm going for face cards. Let's go. Okay, we got, now we have two pair. All right, I'm going to play two pair. And we have a bunch of uh, extra multipliers here with our Joker and these, so let's see how it goes. 10, 14. I know, Nick, man, it's so hard. It might be one of those things where it's just like our cultural programming to hear a stylistic phrasing has... But I, there could be a very good grammatical reason for it that's underpinning that. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, nine, eight, five, four. I have one, two, three, four, five spades. Plus this sweet ace of spades. Oh, this is going to be fun. So we're let's see if I can... Spec like we're gonna get 41, 50, 58, 63, 67, 95, 102, and then we times it by eight, I believe. Yeah, let's let's do it. Yeah, so this right here, we just won. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, we did. All right. Got it. Okay. I know. Would have been sick. Cash it. Eight bucks. All right, what do we want? Okay. Every played card permanently gains plus four chips when scored. That's pretty good. The Joker gains more multiplier for each card sold. Resets when boss blind is defeated. I've never sold a card. I didn't even know you could do that. Do they mean cards sold from the shop? Or... Yeah, um, that might be beyond my pay grade. Um, oh, you can sell top cards? Oh, oh, okay. You could sell these cards up here. I get you. Okay. I'm not like...
I'm not in love with this voucher. Yeah, I'm not huge on that either. I think I'm just going to let it ride. I'm not like... This is actually not bad. Let's see, if you play like... This could add up to a significant amount. It, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Spectral? Okay, let's try it. You tell me. I don't even know what they are. Yeah, exactly, Squid. Yesternight? That is hilarious. Yeah, Fortnite, Yesternight, Yesteryear. Yeah, you can say Yesteryear, right? So, um... You know what's cool is... I'm also getting, like, because of the CRT and the different booster packs, I also am getting a big vibe of Inscription a little bit with the game, even though it's much happier in tone than Inscription. Um, okay, so let's see. Converts all cards in a hand to a single random suit. Oh, wow. No, I don't think I've ever seen it. Adds a purple seal to your hand. I mean, look how good this is. Like, why would you not want this? It just makes a flush from your whole hand. Now, I don't know how this... So, all of these cards are going to become a random suit. So, we got all hearts. Okay, fantastic. I don't know what planet cards are. Let's just do a learning run where I just try to learn stuff. All right. Mars. Level up four of a kind. Okay. Level up straight flush and level up full house. Wow, okay. So... Of these, um, well, straight flush. I mean, we're going for flush. It Can you imagine if that happened? Um, yeah, let's just go in. Let's go for it. Neptune, hit me. Straight flush is so hard to get, but we'll pretend like we're going to get it. Yeah, four of a kind is no joke. You got to put a bunch of those in there. Even when you do, it will be hard. All right. Um. Oh, look at this. Free Spectral. We're doing it. We just talked about it. Alright, this guy says, creates two copies of one selected card in your hand. Or this guy says, adds a gold seal. Um. Okay, so this just gives you extra money. There really isn't a card in this hand that I'm, like, super excited about. But exactly, Squid. If I want to get more hearts, why not? I guess there we go. Now we got a bunch of hearts. Here we go. Um, wow. Choose... Two of up to five playing cards to add to your deck. Yeah, do it. Skip it. Hit me. Mega standard. All right. Um, so, what do we want to put in there? Oh, I don't want to look at it. Red seal. Retrigger this card one time. That's kind of nice. So, these are, unfortunately... Um, it's foil, so you get 50 chips. This goes good with this. Um, okay, I'm okay with this. And then... Stone. Hit me. Let's go. This says all heart cards are debuffed. Well, that's not good for me, but what can we do? We're going for it. So... What we're going to do is we're going to 
play casual. Well, no, diamonds are good. All right, so... Let's see. Here we go. No, we got an idea. We can do this. Trust me. We just need something more profound to happen, so we're going to go big time on the discard. Okay. This is actually... Okay, so if I... But if I play this guy, do I get the extra chips for playing this? Let's see what happens. I'm curious. The ace won't score. Okay. That's too bad. Okay. Yeah, I should have just played the five. You're right. That's a good point. Uh, oof. Yeah, I messed up. Um, I didn't look at the... Oh, well. It's interesting to learn, like, what... What's good and what's not. Uh, we need a jack, is what we need. I need a jack, but I could also get some diamonds to hit a flush. Okay, well, that's four diamonds. Okay, here's one. Mm, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> we built our deck around the thing that we couldn't do anything with so what can we say that's all right though um oh no it crushed me my like my deck was based around i just added all hearts to my deck um but time for us to shuffle and try again he says 
So let's go ahead and say, all right, not bad, but let's do a new one. So the blue deck is unlocked and gives you plus one hand every round. Then there's the red deck, which gives you an extra discard every round. Um, let's try it again. Red deck. So all spade cards are debuffed, so let's be careful of that. And um, <laughs> I get five bucks if I skip. Let's go for it. Small blind. Okay. So we've got a nice little start here with two pair. Easy peasy. I like how with these, it doesn't even really matter. You just need to beat this number. We got an open-ended straight, too. Hey, KRK, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. So, if we don't hit it right here... It's kind of crazy, no multipliers, but we'll see what we can do. There it is. Oh, no, no. Never mind. I lied. Not quite. Do I want to discard right now? Or just play two pair? Now, let's get greedy. Four, five, six, seven. All right, get rid of this. Get rid of this. That makes sense. Four, five... Nine, eight, seven, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I already had that. I, even, I was like trying to go beyond the regular straight. Okay, this will be fine then. How about that? All right. So let's see what we can get from this, right? Let's see. We cash out for four bucks, which is actually less than if I would have skipped it. Oh, no, wait, but you make money by going to it. So we get eight bucks. This joker says if first hand of round is a single six, destroy it and create a spectral card. What does a single six mean? Oh, you mean if I just play a six and then I get a spectral card? Okay, um, interesting. Plus 20 multi. Oh, interesting. So, this says minus four multiplier per round played. I'm on round one. So, this eventually just becomes nothing. Like, once you eat all the popcorn... And then it becomes, I mean, I'm sure it can't go negative, but it doesn't seem that great. This is like, do you want to waste one hand and create it? Oh, you can sell it. Oh, I see. Well, if you buy it, yeah, yeah, you buy it and then you... You use it for a bit, then you sell it back. No, 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 that makes sense. I'll, I'll do it. This will secure us just winning easily. So, I mean, our multiplier is going to be, you know, plus 12 right here. It could, Squid, you're right, but those packs weren't that great. The planet packs, at least so far, they seem cool, but you need other stuff to like aim for a specific hand type and then just adding another six or seven to my deck which is what the other pack would do also without the jokers i'm not like i'm not 100 percent on it yet i gotta figure out like you know what my how you want to build your deck and when you want to start pulling the trigger on different elements of it All right, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, so right here, we just beat the guy. So it's like, I see what you're saying, because I won on the first hand, the popcorn is just paying you back the, the bonus money that you get for uh, winning right there. That makes sense. Okay, so what jokers do we have here? Played cards with spade suit give more multi. Okay, so this is good, except for the boss um, hates you if you play. Like, spades don't work. Played cards with odd rank give 30 chips. Um, hmm. Hmm. I like it too, Squid. What about this minus one ante, minus one hand per round? What is bad about the ante? Does that is that the difficulty? It, I get one less hand to play, but I have to pay less ante? Like... Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, okay. I'm actually going to buy both of them just to get some more Jokers rolling. And th the Spade cards are debuffed, but they were going to be debuffed anyway. Yeah, minus losing a hand is brutal. Um, I'm not huge into it either right now. Uh, so we're going to go for it. All right. So spade cards are debuffed, but what did we get here? Well, we got ourselves close to a straight, so let's get rid of this and this. We've got a pair right here. Don't forget that odd cards, we're getting extra. Two, three, four, five, six. So this is pretty big. See, this guy gave us plus 30, and then, um, bam, just beat him in one hand. So good. Alright, so, um, we can get Venus, which is three of a kind, or... Oh, look at this, these combo with each other. This would be like, you want three of a kind for the rest of your life. It's kind of sick. Like, we could then just swerve into trying to get three of a kind, but then you'd have to buy a bunch of packs to get... You know, to really stack for that. Like, because I want to get that, but... I'm going to pretend like... Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like, it seems like it would be good, but... um. It gives us an identity. I think we can try it. We'll see how it goes. Um, now, I can sell this guy right here. But we should... He's good for one more round. So let's go. Oh, you have to use it? Oh, whoops. Okay, I, I didn't know you had to use it. Okay, thank you. Well, we almost got a straight right here. We still need a queen so we can get rid of this. The pair of aces is also quite tempting. There it goes. All right, so good. All right, Popcorn, thank you. Thank you for your service, Popcorn. So what we're going to do is cash out. 
and it's still giving me plus eight though like earn five bucks if three or more face cards are discarded at the same time i mean nah no thank you i'm just going to keep my money i the celestial packs like the planets are kind of cool but i'm looking for cards to try to get the three of a kind so i'm just going to go to the next round and plus three hand size next round that's kind of fun this guy debuffs hearts. This is what killed us last game, but it's not bad right now. I'm going to fight it, though, so I, I get to go to a shop. I thought about it, Squid, but it's like, I think if you if you skip, I don't think you get to the, go to the shop. Maybe you do, though, and I just misunderstood that. Oh, oh my god. I misread this 8, and I thought it was a 9, and I played it like it was a straight. Oh boy, that was bad. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. I do have a straight, but I have to actually do it right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I see what you mean, Red Hat. That's a good idea. I keep just playing the best hand that I have, but I should be discarding more for sure. All right, so we cash out for seven, and yes, you're right. Sell it. All right, so we got our money, and um, look at this. We could level up three of a kind again, which is hilarious. Uh, I'm still not getting what I'm looking for. I don't want to re-roll. Spectral. Look at this. We leveled it up. Oh, good idea, Red Hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Let's do it. It's at least something, right? All right, let's go for it. Um, this says, destroy one random card in your hand, add four random enhanced numbered cards to your hand, or add a blue seal to one selected card in your hand. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll just discard a card. Not really, right? Maybe, though, the enhanced numbered cards, I could get more numbered cards for three of a kind. So, um... Yeah, look, I got an extra three. Okay, so there we go. So we did get some extra copies of just like, you know, cards right there. That's at least something. Let's go. All right, all heart cards are debuffed. Ooh, look at this, three of a kind right off the get-go. Look at this, times seven, just flat. And then we have spades. Look at this, we have two seven of spades. So it's like, this will give us multiplier right here. And then this is odd. So odd Todd will give us plus 90. Look at this, plus 90. And then the multiplier is plus 8. Look at this, 12 multi of three of a kind. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, free discard. Thank you, great point. Yeah, 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 good idea. Um... Nick, man, let's just get rid of some of these heart cards that we don't need, right? Yeah, you're right, Nick, man. It is. It does get rid of them. We could keep it for this straight if we wanted to try to hit that. I'm going to keep the nine. Oh, cool, Alex. That's cool. I'm glad they updated. Um, let's go ahead and play it. Bam. Let's see what this gets to.
Look at this. We blew you away. Oh, we got a big joker unlocked. I never am sad about quality of life and bug fixes, Alex. But yeah, more content would be cool, but I'll take that for now. Cash out 10 bucks. There we go. All right, now what do we got? This says adds double the rank of the lowest card held to the multiplier. Whoa. That's pretty kind of... It's like, so if you have a two, then you add four to the multiplier every time? Yeah, I think this is good. Hit me. All right, and then... Um, this says, choose one of three tarot cards to be used immediately. Yeah, I like the tarot. Let's go for it. Good idea. <laughs> yes, look at this. Lucky card. That's sweet. I don't want the stone. I mean, it's nice. Yes, yes. For the odd multi. Good idea. Right? So you get odd multi. do it exactly nick man it's like you get a bunch of chips but it's not that great oh i see alex so they want you to be combining or condensing higher level pals that makes sense all right um oh this is not bad this makes its money back you know if you play it once But I'm just going to keep my money. Initial cards and booster packs in next shop are free. Wow. That seems pretty good. I'll take the coupon. What's this say? Cards drawn face down after each hand played. Uh-oh. Well... But, so you don't know what you have? Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Man, that's really bad for me. I'm scared. One, two, three, four spades. Okay. Um... Okay. One, two, three, four, five spades. So we can at least get a flush here. And then we have spades, so they will get this. And then this guy. How about that? That's my biggest one yet. I know, it's so good. All right, cash it out. So we got the nine bucks, and look at this. This is all free. Go up to negative 20 in debt. That's sweet. Gain plus three multiplier when any booster pack is skipped. Wow.
Now, I don't understand if these are all free. It's great, Distro. Um, I'll take this Two of Hearts because it's so tricked out. I could sell it for a buck. I actually don't really want this. I'd rather just have this, even though it's not great. Yeah, free dollar indeed. Now, if I would have skipped this, it would have triggered this, but... Um, Convert three to hearts doubles money. That's a lot of money. Creates up to two random tarot cards. Well, that's not bad. I can have two. I don't really have anything, a reason for hearts. Doubling your money is a lot of money. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. I'll just sell it. I'll take 20 bucks and just try to uh, use it at the next shop. <laughs> Money is definitely on sale, isn't it? Plus one card slot available in shop. Uh, I mean, that's okay, but I don't know if I want to spend 10 bucks on that. I'm going to go to the next round. I don't know if I can beat this. This is going to be really weird. So cards drawn face down after each hand played. Well, luckily we just drew a huge spade flush, so we are okay. We're okay. <laughs> this guy could eat our dust. Get out of here. All right. So, at this point, um, we just need to basically be... So, you said if you discard... Um, if I discard... Okay, thank you. So, then let's just discard all the face-down ones. Let's just get real here. Let me see some cards. Okay, great. There you go. Um, three, four, five, six. That's a good question, Nick, man. I wonder if you could use the shuffle feature to figure that out, or if they, if they thought of that and randomized them. <coughs> three, four, five, six, or just play two kings. Oh, whoops. I didn't see I had two pair. That was my fault. Um, okay, let's just discard and... There we go. Cruising. Got it. Sweet. I got a bunch of interest. 11 bucks. So I need to spend some money. I got some serious cash here. One extra consumable slot. That's kind of cool. All right. So um, 40 chips for each remaining discard. This looks good. Like, does this mean... It's calculated every single time I play of a hand? So, like... If, if at the first hand I didn't discard and I play this, I just get one time 160 chips to be multiplied? Seems really good.
This one also is actually pretty good because um, it's only minus five for each hand played. So it's like you're getting 100 bonus chips and at worst you're getting 80 bonus chips. This one looks a little bit more powerful. So I never use this. Let's get rid of this thing. These are both common, but... Um, yeah, that's a good point, Nick Man. It, there aren't too many things that let you do that yet that I've seen. Man, if, and if this would get better if you were able to get the voucher to add to your discards. This is more steady. This is more swingy. I'm going to try this one. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, check out a tarot card. Sure. Let's go. Oh, here you go, Nick Man. Just what you were talking about. Discard up to two selected cards. Um, or destroy, rather. Um, but I want multi-cards. So we're going to go with, like, look at this. We have all these tens right here. So go for my spade. And the queen right here. There we go. Yeah, I'm just looking at spades. I didn't have any good odds right there. Um, I'm going to re-roll. I got money. Let's go. Sell this card to create a free double tag. That's funny. Um... I'm just splashing around a little bit. I'll buy the Celestial Pack. So this is my three of a kind, which I've been rolling. I like the idea of something easy, like Mercury. Like, look how easy it would be to hit a pair. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, thank you. So you want to have $25 um, or more to get the most? Or you can't earn interest if you're at above $25. I'm going to keep going to the moon with Venus. I know, Nick, man. We're doing it. And then also, I'm going to just boost up a pair. Because it's like, why not? It's always a safe play. And let's go. What you got for me? Skip the round. Um... 15 bucks. Nah, no, no, no. Let's go. I want to shop. All right. We got four. We're so close to a straight. Look at this lucky card right here. All right. Get rid of this. We need a five. Wait. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we need a five or a ten. I do, don't I? Oh, bad choice. I thought about it. I should have done it. I I made a fool of myself and, and everyone else. Um, no, you're just myself. Okay. Uh... That's a lot, though, from one pair. I got so much right there. It's unreal. All right. Four, five, six, or eight, nine, ten. A jack I am missing here. 
Um, I need a seven. Yeah, that's a good point, Nick Man, because of my Joker. This is game over. I know, Red Hat. I guess I should look more at the cards that I have. Um, Alright, what do we got? This is kind of neat. Man, I really want... This is probably better than something that I have here... Um, but I got no idea, Mark. I'm just rolling it. All right, what do we got? We got two random tarot cards. Wild card can be used as any suit. Okay. Uh, one in four chance to add foil, holographic, or polychrome addition to a random joker. Ooh, this boosts your jokers. That's actually pretty cool. But this is only a one in four chance. So it's like... Not should, not sure. Um, I'll try it. Nope. Okay, well, we tried. Crispy, good evening. I think you would like it, my friend. I had a great time with Final Fantasy XIV. I, granted, I played it years ago, but it was fun. I know. One and four is really bad. Let's go, Mercury. Give me that pair boost. Nice safe bet. Reroll me. Oh, what's this guy? <laughs> Here you go. Create a tarot card if hand is played with $3 or left. Aww. I know, Squid, they haven't... They're just like, just throw it in there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I really don't have anything unlocked, do I? I can't win without playing a straight. Are you crazy? All right, so enhance two selected cards to multi-cards. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10... Oh, we need a jack. <laughs> Any way you slice it. Um... Okay. No, no, no. Well, first of all... No, wait. Let me think about this. Yeah, I feel you, Squid. That is a true... That is a a true statement. So much of roguelikes, you have to learn by getting the information and, and playing. That's what makes the progress feel so good, though. I mean, I got owned in my first game, and then just got hard countered, going all hearts against a big blind with a heart debuff, but we're getting there. Um, I could just commit fully to the upper end straight, Is that what I want to do? I don't even have a pair. S 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Or I could, yeah. Goodbye. There it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this on my 9 right here. And uh, on maybe this jack right here. Here we go. And then we're going to go... Seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. There we go. Oh, I see what you mean, Squid. Yeah. They could be, but in my experience, even a traditional roguelike, like Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, where you have everything unlocked right at the beginning. You can't theoret you feasibly beating it your first time without knowing the enemies and the information about the enemies and what's possible in the game seems impossible. Hey, Dusted Goon. Thank you for subscribing, my friend. Alright, so we are so close right here to winning, and we have a pair with an ace of spades. How about that? I mean, we play two pair right here with the ace of spades, and it's over. The ace won't count? Aww. Aww. It's ace high. Okay. Well, fair enough. Ten bucks. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Destroy cards. <laughs> Played face cards give 30 chips. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense, Squid. I know. Hit me with... Um, the Jumbo Arcana. Go. All right, steel. Ooh, steel is pretty tight. Okay, I mean, one point five. We just when it's in your hand. <laughs> Select two cards. Convert the left card into the right card. All right. So if we want more of one card, we could do that. I do love the Wheel of Fortune. It's it's tough it's tough to do the Wheel of Fortune though when one of its options is a guaranteed on well, I have to have the card, I guess. Oh boy. Hmm. I'm making it steel. Oh, I got a new deck. All right, that was random. Okay. Um, it could be. We're going for it. Hit me. Creates the last tarot or planet card used during this run. Um... All right, I could just make another steel card. What's interesting, though, is... It says you must have room for created Joker. I don't have room, but can you, like, see what it is and then get rid of one? Excuse me. I would have to sell it first. Ah, no thanks. Okay. 
wild card me. And we're going to turn uh, this six into a wild card. I can make it a spade. Use with my fun stuff. Alright, and then now... No, no, no. Reroll. Neptune, what do you do? Straight flush. Nice. Level up straight flush. Heck yes. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a good point. We'll still make some interest, but just not as much. Alright, let's go. Uh, all face cards are drawn face down. Alright, that's fine. We'll at least know what cards they are. Okay. So right away we got... Um, one pair of eights and a pair of fives. But we want to keep this... It's our steel card, so we want to keep that in the hand. And then... Seven, eight, nine, ten... Uh, well, this is a face card. It could be a jack. Oh, boy. It was a jack. How brutal. I should have tried it. I do. I do. It's because if you have an open-ended straight, the probability of drawing, you get... Um... You have eight cards that you can draw to complete the straight. Whereas if you're going for a three of a kind, you only have two cards that you can draw. It's just a probability thing. But I mean, like, if I had more guaranteed of the cards for the three of a kind, then sure. Alright, so now we have nines and tens. All right. That steel carp was so boss. Okay. Get out of here. We gotcha. What you got? Ooh, what's this? I have four nines. We'll take uh, the grabber, maybe. I'm going to use this to try to keep going. Yeah, standard pack 100%. Because then we could try to get some more cards that we need. Ooh, nice. Foil 6. Well, um, what can I push to look at my... Yeah, here we go. I want to see how many of each... I have 5 6s already, so another 6 is actually a good play. I do have 5 10s, too. So, no, the multiplayer is better. Um, yeah, it is. You're right. All right, sweet. No, I'll keep the... I won't do this. I'm going to keep the interest. All right. And now we're good. Let's go. All right, let's look for those tens. So you're right. I do need to change my strategy because I'm basing it on the probability of a standard 52 card deck and the cards seen. But in this case, we have more than certain some cards. So 
This is showing you, for example, how many of each card I have left. If I mouse over the deck right here, like, um, I have four eights left. And, and you see how I have a ten in my hand, but I still have five left in the deck. It's awesome. The, the uh, UI, this game is uh, very well built. Okay, so we can just do right now uh, two pair and keep our sweet steel card in here and just play. All right, so now let's see. We need tens, so let's start. Here's three of fives right here. Good for that guy. <laughs> I have three spades. I do, but I've got three fives. Do you think I should just go for a flush, is what you're saying? All right. Oh, no, I pushed the wrong button. Oh, dear God. Oh, God, I accidentally clicked this card. Uh, well, now we have to uh, make it happen. Okay, so we have tens. Okay. One, two, three spades again. We're going to fix it. Well, we have a straight. Dear God, the big red button tricked me. It's the big blue button that you need. All right, all right. It's funny how Full House is actually worse than Three of a Kind. It is tricky. It's like it's right here and it's big and red. And in many games, this is the, the what you click to end the turn. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you're right. It is level four. We win. Take that. All right. Okay, we'll cash out. A jumbo buffoon pack. This is actually kind of sweet. Um... I might want to buy one of these just to see what it's about. Like, I could get a better Joker than this, for example. All right, let's see. We get something really, really good. What? Devin, good evening. Look at this. Here it is, the straight guy. 10 chips if a played hand contains a straight. I mean, hey. This is for a flush. Whoa, that crushes on a flush. So this is weird because it's like 0.2 malt per consecutive hand played without playing your most um, played poker hand. Is there a way for you to see what this is? Yeah, it's, it is weird. So my most... Well, it's straight is my most. Hey, look, this could help me out because I just never play a straight again. 
right? What if I never played a straight if I only went three of a kind for the rest of the, the game? You know what I mean? Like, I've only hit three of a kind twice. I'd have six times to hit it to make that work. It's not bad. But times one does nothing, right? Like, you have to get it slightly above. It's weird. And then if you break the chain, then you lose it. So it's not great. I'm going to take this one unless I skip it, but um, I still think this is better than this one. Because it means like a flush is just game over. Alright, let's go. What's this say? Add one voucher to the next shop. Eh? I don't think so. We need them, right? Or three of a kind queens, just right off the get with the steel card. We do have a heart flush, but I think that this is just insane. We've got this right here. Like, I'm if I play this two, will it ditch it so that my raised fist will then trigger the five instead? Okay, good. Yeah, let's do that for sure. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Look at this. Nice. Okay. Now, we have... pair of aces get rid of this I do have a bunch of hearts actually you know what I can get rid of these three and this to try to get that flush because um I do love poker. I haven't played in a while, but I love the game. Um, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So, this should be a ton of points, theoretically. pretty good okay so now we've got one two three four spades so let's go spades mm, I have two tens I could also ditch everything but it seems more likely that I would draw a spade I actually I could just play this hand and get some points. Because a pair is actually not bad for me. Now we'll discard it. No, we still didn't get it. How could that be? That's unlucky. Get out of here. There we go. One, two, three, go. All right, rev it up. And that's three jacks. J 
just like that. With the seven multiplier. We're starting to taper off, though. Like... Oh, okay, cool. Like, I, I have a good amount of bluster, but... Oh, great. Standard packs. Oh, this is perfect. Alright, what do we want? Alright. Ooh, these are... What's this see-through card? Oh, I don't like the fact that it gets destroyed. So let me see what I've got right here. Um, how many fives and nines do I have? I have four nines. I have four fives. Um, okay. Um... This is interesting. I'll take this, sure. We have more nines now. Go. All right. Uh, six. How many sixes and how many eights do we have? We have four eights. We have five sixes. Perfect. All right. So this guy is it's lucky. Spades are better for me, though. Um, so I'll take this even though it's lucky, because it I could trigger either a flush or I could get my Wrathful Joker for spades. So I'm just going to go back into it. All club cards are debuffed. Well, that's, that's a shame. All right, so I guess I'm just going to try to set up a uh, three of a kind. We have one, two, three, four spades, so we're going to shift focus. There it is. One, two, three, four spades for the flush. I do have three of a kind, which I hate to get rid of, but there's nothing I can do. And this is kind of getting in my way anyway, so let's go. All right, so that was a good hand. I got the steel card, which is nice. These clubs are just crushing me. That's pretty much where I'm at, right? I can only throw away five. Alright, so now we have four spades and one discard. We do have a pair of kings. I might just play the pair of kings um, so that I can try to draw a spade. Maybe even throw in the ace of diamonds here. That nah, won't do anything for me. One, two, three, four. Still. Yeah, I should have. I was just thinking Ace was like a nice high card, but you're right. Oh, no, this is a wild card. This is a wild. You're right. 
Now, how do you make it? It's not saying I have a str uh, flush right now. How do I... Do I have to do something to activate it? It says all abilities are, dis are disabled. But it's... The debuff is on clubs. That's kind of a cr criminal. It's a six of hearts on its face. No, no, no. The... But but hearts aren't debuffed. It's clubs are debuffed. It's kind of weird because it's like... If if you're counting this as a club to debuff it, then you have to say that its wild card ability works, which also makes it a spade. Like, you know what I mean? Like, its face is a... It's printed a six of hearts. So you can't tell me that its wild card is working to cancel its club ability if it's... Club ability is from the wild card that you're making it debuff from. You know what I mean? Like, the wild card is clearly working because that's why you're debuffing it. Anyway, um, we gotta get rid of it. Okay, so we gotta get rid of this, and then get rid of this, and get rid of this. Yeah, I mean, it must be, right? One, two, three, four. Man, we are so unlucky drawing spades. Um, all right, so I got to play like two pair. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, so close. We got two hands to make way more points than what we have. And you know what? We did better this time, though. It was, it was better. Okay. So what we'll do is... We can't discard anymore. I'm learning, though... Yeah, and I can't discard anything. I'm like... I got three of a kind. Oh man, we almost hit it. We just got so unlucky drawing spades in general. Mm, I only had three left. It did. I just kept holding it because it was a spade, but maybe I should have got rid of it. You know what I mean? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we'll die like we lived. We did better. I think three of a, like going for three of a kind was funny, but it didn't work out. Okay. So, not bad. Not bad. We got a high score on anti and round, so let's go for a new run. Um, and we got a Joker unlock. Defeat a boss blind in one hand without using any cards. So we got this guy. Um, earn $8 if played. Um, oh, okay. That's cool. And then, uh, we get another Joker for reaching level four. Okay. Nice. And, um, oh, the yellow deck just lets you start with an extra ten bucks. So, red gives you an extra discard. Blue gives you an extra hand. And yellow deck gives you extra money. Um, I like... I still like having the extra discard just to, you know, get crazy. Alright. So this says doubles your money. Well, right. Full house. Go. Go.
Let's make it happen. All right. No straights? Yeah, right. Straights are my jam. We're building around it. All right, what's this? Um, plus one hand size. That's fun. Um, and then what's this? Raise the cap on interest earned per round to 10 bucks. That's nice, too. I like having an extra card. What you got for me? Full house, flush, two pair. I'll tell you what. Um, I'm all about Uranus. Give me that. I swear, I play two pair all the time. Let's do it. Okay. Next round. What you got? Um, plus three hand size. Cards played previously this ante are debuffed. Wow. Wow. Oh, cool, Red Hat. Thank you for that tip. So you try to play it without... Beat it without playing certain hands intentionally. That's cool. All right, let's go. Yeah, look at my hand now. That's a good point. Mark, okay, so we've got 8, 9, 10. We have a straight right here. Looks like I'm going to have to break the streak. Oh, we have a bigger straight. Go to the moon. Mm-hmm. I already boosted two pair, did I not? I know. Days since last straight, zero. Here we go. Man, we almost had a straight flush right there. Will you guys at least let me play a straight flush if I draw it? All right. Cash it. All right. What do we got? What do we got? We need some jokers. No. Earn $4 at the end of round. I mean, yeah. Nah. I'd rather take the buffoon pack, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not seeing the best stuff. What you got? Adds the number of times poker hand has been played to multiplier. Yes, now you're talking. This would let me escalate straights to the moon. Now this is just more sensical. Like, you play hearts and you um, do really well, you know? Like, these are always good. But I think we understand that there's only one way for me to go. And then to get more straights, we probably need, you know, another pack here. Well, this says um, you get extra money when this is played and it scores. So I like the idea of it. But an ace is technically the better card if I'm going for straights because it can be used above and below. But let's go for money. Do it. Go, go. 
All right, what's this? Shop has an uncommon joker. No, I have no money. All right. Uh, let's go... One, two. One, two. And get rid of this. I'm setting up for a straight. But we got our two pair to level two. So let's go. Look at that. Multiplier. Well, I guess we're going two pair. Like, we're going all in on two pair. I was going to go... Actually, wait. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, not quite. So this should go up. Three, yeah. There it is. You guys thought it was going to happen? Did you think I wasn't going to do it? It's happening. There it goes. Hit it, Joker. Love it. Love to see it. All right. Cash out. Not very much money. Ooh, what's this? Played face cards have a one and two chance to give you two bucks. Nice. Played cards with diamond give you more. Oh, and this is a foil joker, so it's like... It's too expensive, but it's worth... It just gives you an extra 50 chips. That's fun. I need to save my money. Let's go. Spectral pack. No. The more hands I play, the more I build up my supernova, right? So it's like, instead of skipping, if I play hands more often, then this keeps scaling up. Oh, I got four of a kind. This counts as two pair, right? Two queens and two queens? Is that how they do that? All right, fill in the straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I see what I'm talking about. Do it. To the moon. There it is. Hit me. Yes. Yes, cash out. Boost it. Do you see this? There it is. It's in. Go. 12 multiplier for a straight. That is hot. All right. Um... Hit me with the spectral. What you got? All right. So hex. Um, add a polychrome to a random joker. Destroys all other jokers. Oh boy. Um, destroy one random card in your hand. Add three random enhanced face cards to your hands. Hmm. So. I don't want to do this one because I want both of these jokers. Actually, I like all of my jokers. So I'm going to do familiar and um, go for it. Which one are you taking? Oh, you took my good king. That was not nice. Why did you do that to me? All right, fine. Decrease level of played poker hand. I mean, does that mean the straight goes down a level? Yeah, I did get three cool face cards, I guess. Are you hurting the straight? Is that what's happening? I mean, I hope this still works. Oh, no, no, no. It means if, if I had straight at level two, it would go down to level one. I got you. 
this can't go under level one, thank God. Okay, this means if you boosted it with a planet, I see. No, here you go, here's a straight. You're getting wrecked. Oh, thank God they fixed it. Yeah, so it would be level zero, that's so brutal. Almost beat the guy in one. I could play two pair and just win sensibly, or I could level up my straight. All I need is a 10. No, oh, fine, fine, fine. I'll level up two pair as well. It's it's good. You're out. What a jerk. Sweet. Here we go. Cash it. All right. What do we get? We got nine bucks. Ooh. Yeah, man. I wish I had that. Darn. I could sell something. No, no, no. It's real. I know, I should be ashamed. Um, standard pack. Go. What can we get? Alright, so the question is, which would help our straight situation the most? And the nine is right there in the middle. It doesn't really matter. We have a pretty even distribution. We actually have more face cards. So, but we don't have an option to get a 10. So the nine helps because we have more of these. So go for it. Open it. Come on, Arcana. <laughs> Derekai, good evening. Don't judge me. Yeah, random joker, go. What you got? Mm, okay. I mean, maybe that'll pay off. We'll see. Next round. Choose two. Wow, mega buffoon pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Choose two of four jokers. Do it. Skip the blind. Okay, what do we get? So, we can get... First played face cards give you... Yes, that's good. What is this guy? It's just random multiplier? But it's always... Is it always positive or is it just always shifting? Ooh... Yeah, it looks like a glitch, Joker. I mean, if it... if As long as it doesn't go negative, then who cares, you know? Um, no, I'll take this for sure. I, zero is doesn't hurt you, and then the chance of getting like a 25 multiplier is just crazy. Yeah, we'll take the Ancient Joker. I'm going to get rid of uh, this one. And just take a multiplier. I need... I don't... Money is cool, but... Um, I need to be able to get massive hands. Like this one. So, 7, 8, 9, 10 jack with all of these clubs. And this... Here we go. Womp, 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 womp. Womp. That's four clubs for the Ancient Joker, plus the Supernova, plus the Crazy Joker, plus whatever misprint wants to give us. Go. All right. Fantastic. Um... 
All right, we'll hold that. Extra three bucks. This game is just so good. I mean, all of the things happening, you know, like all of the little random interactions. I enjoy it. Um, plus five to hand size, but it reduces by one for every turn. And I do like two pair. I have been going that. Hand size hit me. This is so good because I got plus two hand size. So it's like my chances of getting a straight are just through the roof. Uh, no repeat hand types this round. Oh, I can only play a straight once. That's a shame. They only want to see straight one time. All right. we met, It better be a good one. Right? So, uh, well, we have a uh, full house. So let's play that just right off the get go. All right, so now um, I still don't have a straight, so I'll do two pair. That's fine. That's a good, I think it just, that's a great question. I think it means for the whole turn, you can't play it again. But I'm not sure about that. Yeah, because, like, no, I've got some time, so let's discard. <laughs> Booty do, good evening. Oh, we are. Oh, you're right. I forgot to use it. Whoops. I forgot to play with Uranus. Wink, wink. Now it's been used, so we can get bonus for two pair, but we already used it, unfortunately. I forgot it was up here. I needed to play it. Um, so if I try to play full house again, I wonder if it'll tell me, like, you can't... Yeah, it will not score, is what it tells you. So I could play three of a kind, you know, but instead, though, what I could do is just say three, four, five, it's close-ish... No, 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 I can't do that. We actually have to do pretty well right here, so let's let's really get that straight. Two, three, four, five is very close, but we need an oh, we have an ace. Oh, 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 sorry, wrong one. There you go. There's the straight. We got straight power. Just like that. All right. It's getting dicey, though. That wasn't as easy as I'd like it to be. All right, so we got six bucks. Um, mm, I think I guess go to the next round. Let's go. Handy tag is really good. That's seventeen bucks. We get a new deck. Sweet. Let's go. Here we go. We can... We have a full house at the bottom. 
and then the makings of an open-ended straight right here. So let's just do this first. Uh, okay, so we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be a straight, except we want to play the eight of clubs for the multiplier. Go. All right, we're so close. I need tens. Hey, Creaky, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. Um, I have two pair is fine. And we'll have to get maybe more selective if we don't clear right now. All right, let's see. There's the straight. We do have the glass card. I hate to play it. But here we go. Darn. It broke. Oh, okay. Thank you, Red Hat. Interesting. All right. Well, we lost the king, but we did cash and... Uh, get a standard pack. That's interesting. You could re-roll the boss blind. I don't even... Um, can I go see what the boss blind is? It's play only one hand type this round. Oh, no. Well, I'd live and die with the straight... That's brutal, or maybe two pair, I guess. Straights are bust indeed. Let's get a standard pack then. I was just saying we needed tens. Hit me with this, sure. Steel and club, that's great. Um gives the total sell value of all current jokers 12 bucks enhance one to a gold or enhance it to a stone um it is on sale i guess we'll take it heathron good evening my friend live and drink indeed high card oh god um sure you know what I could just buy this if I don't want to do the one hand thing so I could get past it I think I'm actually going to do it money is worth nothing if I lose and it's like I don't like the what he's got going so I can re-roll the boss for 10 bucks I'm going to do it That's fine. So you could tell this has to be an ace or a king. I have a straight. Hey, Karma, good evening. Good to see you. <laughs> they dealt me a straight with the five cards. How about that, huh? Karma, this is a uh, poker meets kind of Slay the Spire roguelike type of game. So it's like you're breaking the rules of poker. You're getting bu buffs, all kinds of modifiers. Um...
I'm just going to discard these cards. I'm not even going to mess around with it. Just let me see. Okay. Four, five, six. Hmm. That's pretty much, that's a good way to put it, Squid. All right, so I have uh, four, five, six, seven. Then I have one, two, three, four clubs. And I'm a queen shy of a straight. So we could get rid of this. We can get rid of this. And we can get rid of... this yeah okay so three four five six seven is indeed a straight and then we have the steel card to give us an extra multiplier this is pretty good but i don't know if we're gonna win No, we need a massive result right here. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a misprint Joker, isn't it cool? I think we just have to go all in on getting some better cards up at the top here. Pretty much. I mean... If I hit an 8, then I have 7, 8, 9, 10 jack, which might be enough. Well, we didn't get the Queen of Clubs, but we got a Queen of Spades. So this is pretty good. This is a straight with four clubs. This is as good as we can get. No, oh, so close. Oh... Brutal. Brutal. We tried. We really did. Um, green deck. At the end of each round, $2 per remaining hand. $1 per remaining discard. Earn no interest. That's actually not bad. I'm going to try this, the green deck. Mm, 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 mm. Dude, don't diss the straight. The straight was great. Alright, um... Now nah, we'll just go like this. Okay. Uh, we could discard, sure. Well, we don't need that much money, though. Uh, mm, all right. Excuse me. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool, Red Hat. All right, so now we get an extra bit of money from our green deck. Yeah, there's Dicey Dungeons and Spell Rogue are two dice-based roguelikes that I can think of. So we get nine bucks right here. And I don't know if that's including my deck bonus. Must have been. Okay, let's see here. No, no, no. Um, I don't really have any jokers, so I'm just going to go to the next round. I don't get interest, but, um, I'm, I don't want to buy extra cards at the moment. There's a full house just to start out. How's that? All right. How about another full house? Go. Yeah, Heath Run. I like Dicey Dungeons a lot. All right. So I have 13 bucks. And then. Oh, this is calculating everything from my deck. So I get 11 bucks. So you can see I'm getting so much more money with this deck. Um, and then this Joker says, three of a kind, there you go. And this guy's like, one and two to create a tarot card when any booster pact is open. That's kind of fun. Um, yeah, we could just go buy, and then buy, and then we'll just do this to, you know. We did it. Pair, three of a kind, flush. Well, look at this. We're back on it, people. You thought I left the three of a kind? We're back. All right. And then uh, we can get a standard pack. Go. Oh, we got a tarot both times there. Nice. Increase rank of up to two selected cards by one. All right. So what if I... Um, take a queen extra queen right and then we go to the next round and then uh, this says minus one hand size that's a bummer right that's what I'm going for so I want to use this like for example um, on jacks and make them queens I'm just right now fishing for uh, a, an extra jack so I can get this out of my hand. There we go. All right, so we're going to use this right away on these two cards, and then we have three of a kind on queens. That's what we're going for. Right? And then, um, I mean, do we want a bunch of diamonds? Why not? I guess you, this is interesting because you could save this for the right time and then just drop down uh, a flush. I'm going to not do it right now just because uh, three of a kind right here is so insane with my multiplier. Yeah, we win. So I get so much extra money from this deck, it's crazy. 
plus one malt per hand played. Huh. Straight flush. Right. Let me just get that. Go. Jumbo. Let's get the queen. Hit me. Aw. Well, this is a good one, though. This is um, foil. So it's a foil nine. We'll take it. And do I want that? I'm not really huge on that. Oh, we got a free tarot. Nice. Three of a kind. Hit me. Look at that. Three of a kind, level three. And then use this. And what do we get? We got a random joker, which is um, playing cards with even rank give you plus four malt. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. All right. Let's go to the next round. And then this one says choose up to two or four joker cards. This is pretty nice just to get us a bunch of joker cards right away. So um, we'll, we'll do this. This will help us shape our deck. So this guy says, if first discard of round has only one card, destroy it and earn $3. Wow. Look at this. We could make the, like, just queen deck. Hand size, free reroll, one discard. All right. I like hand size. I don't know. I'm going to try this, this guy. It's like... It is chapel fading, exactly, right? Um, okay, let's see. Gives $1 per hand. No, no, go here. I want to see what this is like in action. All right, so what we're going to do is say, just randomly, we don't want, like, if I look at my deck, um, I only have three twos, all, no, three twos left. So we could just go like, hey, I want to get rid of a two. Like, get it out of here forever. So we get three bucks. It's gone. And then... Gosh, you told me not to play a straight? What kind of an evil world is this? It's right there. All right, fine. All right. There's one queen. We see it. I'm discarding everything with the hope of getting three of a kind. There it is. Now, full house is here, but honestly, time seven is better. Look at that. No, it's only once per round, Nickman, that you can destroy a card. Cash me out. Tubbles money. You love to see it. Yeah, you're right. Boom. Well, here's another queen for us anyway. This ace is insane. Um, but... Oh, it's 10 multiplier though. God, it's so strong. I have four aces... But this would give me eight queens. I gotta go with queens. Come on now. And then, what is this? Two planets. Spectral me. All 
destroy one card. Yes, yes, here we go. And creates a random rare joker for... No way. Uh, well, do I really want to create, discard a random card, though? Yes, I do. All right. So we did lose a card, but now we have multiple copies of other cards. This is good, so I'll take it. Um, but the, I don't have room for it right now, so I got to use this card in in an actual match. Play only one hand type this round. Um, okay, so we can't really play three of a kind too much anyway, but that's all right. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to use this. I'm going to select this, this, and then this and just turn these all to diamonds. And then I'm going to use this to... Uh, I'm going to waste a turn on this boss fight to just use my Joker and just get rid of that card forever. And then now, um, I do have three of a kind with Kings, but I also have uh, Flush, right? Mm. Oh, you're right. I can use this. Yes, look at that. Three of a kind. Level it up. Look at three of a kind. Times nine multiplier, baby. Oh, flush just went up too. Sweet. Now we're talking. Love it. Okay. So. Correct, Fading. So you don't get the three-of-a-kind benefit if you play a full house, which is sad. Yeah, we'll just play three kings right now. We can only play it once. It's the best three-of-a-kind we're going to get. So let's do it. Let's get rid of this two uh, as well and this jack. <laughs> this was a boss, and we just destroyed that guy. Now we're getting there. No, I don't want that. Look at this. Times three multiplier. If played hand has already been played this round. So if I play three of a kind multiple times, this starts to stack. Straight flush. Get out of here. I think I just get rid of even Steven. Or just buy just buy this and then get rid of the hallucination. It's not like I'll open this fine. I'm, I'm just going to see if I can get a couple there. There it is. Three of a kind, baby. Times 11. We're going to the moon. There we go. He did give us an extra one. All right. So this says increase gas. This is exactly what we want. Um, so we can bump up the jack to a queen and a nine to a ten. You love the wheel. But now we have like a bajillion queens, which is so nice. And then we're going to sell this guy and then just get this dude in there. Now we're talking... I don't see a reason not to buy and use that card. No thanks. Let's go. Every time we play, we get more chance to use this guy to just get rid of cards. Like, if we look at our deck, um, 
I'm almost done with twos, for example. And it makes me $3. We just beat this guy. This is when we get like, we have a really, really nice multiplier going here. All right. <laughs> I know squid. It's like, it feels like that. Standard hit me. What you got? Oh, it's glass, but it's still a queen. We'll take it. Go. Select two cards. Convert the left cards to the right cards. Right. So I could just convert these two kings to the two queens, I think. But it says select... Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Okay, it's still good. Did I do it right? Hit me. There it is. More queens, baby. Um, let's go. I could sell it. Man, I love this one. That's a good point. I could have done that too. Could have reordered it. Good point. Start with zero discards. Oof. Oof. Let's actually fight it to see if we can get something good at the shop. Well, there's some queens. There we go. It's glass, but we're going to do it. One, two, three. Let's go. All right. So we got four bucks plus four bucks plus one cash out. Hmm. Wow, interesting. Standard me. Well, there's a queen. I 
I think it's probably time to replace this guy. I don't know. I mean, he's been good, but he doesn't help me against the boss. Even Steven is not doing great for me either. Let's see what we got. Oh, yes. This is great. This this guy just gives you a multiplier for every joker. So it's just like 15 on multiplier. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can win. This is a tough one. Okay, so we don't get any discards, which is annoying. Ah, what a bad start. Yeah, I really could, right? I want my queens, though, because I can hit a three of a kind so easily. I mean, that's not bad. Like, I got a thousand out of that. Oh, here's four of a kind. You know what's funny is four of a kind is actually bad for me. If I keep this in the in my hand... Um, oh, we have a flush behind, too, for next turn if we need it. But I think this might kill the guy. Yep. Checkmate. Man, we did so well. Four of a kind, huh? We're not doing straights. So what you have to get, Devin, is there's a certain cash value that you have to get to defeat the enemy. That's the health bar. I like it, Nick, man. It's nice to have all this money. Doubles money. Enhance these to multi-cards. God, multi-cards are so good. Yes. Sweet. Multi-queens for the win. Well, everybody, this game is amazing. I'm so glad that I got it and I was able to try it. I'm having a blast. I'd like to, like to keep playing, but I have to go to bed. It is indeed past my bedtime. I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for coming out, helping explain this game to me, and I could totally see why it's all the rage. I can't wait to play more. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. We will be playing Stellaris tomorrow if you want to come see me lose in space. I know, me too, Red Hat. Fading, so the red number is your multiplier, and you multiply however many blue points you get by that red number. So if you play the queen, it adds four to whatever value you're multiplying by. It's insane. Mark, Distro, Devin, Nickman, Fading, Alex, Red Hat, Squid, Heathrun, Karma, Speedy, Crab, good to see you. Everybody out there, take care. Have a great one.